our top story, a police chase spanning several cities, comes to an end right here in a family's garage. ABC4 News spoke with that family about what they saw and what they caught here on video. Our Jordan Tracy joins us live from where that chase ended in holiday tonight. Jordan, what should we know so far? Good evening, Brian and Sarah. Well, police responded to what ended up being an aggravated robbery call that ended up with one victim shot in the arm. That led them through a wild chase. And for a family in this seemingly quiet neighborhood of Holiday with a scare. Not a typical day, no. <laughs> It's not every day that police swarm your yard and pull a suspect out of your garage. That was exactly what the Ferner family saw Wednesday evening. What led there was a dangerous trip through multiple towns. Police say the suspect went from Midvale to Murray in Salt Lake City. Police were able to spike the vehicle in Mill Creek before the suspect ended up in this yard in Holiday. Several agencies, including a DPS helicopter, following the recklessly weaving suspect. Multiple times during that pursuit, the individual driving that vehicle uh, went into oncoming lanes of traffic. It's a standard protocol for us. Once that happens, it does put the public in a substantial risk, so we terminated that pursuit multiple times. The scare didn't end with the chase, especially for the Ferners. When you see a bunch of cops in your yard, the first thing you want to do is panic, right? While it felt like an eternity, Annalise says the police response made them feel safe. I am so glad the cops moved so quickly. They, it was like chaos started happening and then everybody was here and we felt safe the entire time. So it was really good. It was well handled. Right, that was our Jordan Tracy reporting a, a wild chase that we followed today, but again ended a rough few hours ago this evening. Yeah, there was a passenger in the vehicle who suspended peace, who surrendered peacefully. We're told police are looking into what exactly happened there. Thanks to Jordan for that story.